the Ashwinders have ceased pestering you. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this.
I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. right out of a storybook. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Veldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. We just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time, and I need a friend. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there.
How about some sightseeing? Some days are more difficult than others. Lassie, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Biko to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful.
How nice to see you, my young friend. Jaunt, I'd say. We're just here. Let's get this over with. Most goblins in my family work to mine for one Go! Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out. Yeah. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Lumos. Lumos. Foolers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. It's a the set to drive anyone who hears it mad. Revelio. those spinners. Finding the moths. Revelio. Accio. the runes, I suspect we'll find the moths. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Rebellion. Merlin, 
Lumos. Beautiful. Lumos. You did it! Take a closer look. You read my mind. <sighs> my it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Given what groupers are known to do, I never thought you'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof of the Good for you. Giving us inside the news stories. Which means we're one step ahead of them. <coughs> we found it! Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the... Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Ugh! <sighs> 
We can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was... Also the night I ran away from home, a poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. <laughs>